it's only been about seven months, but we are finally going out eventing today. So first event of 2024 season, I am back with Pizzazz. For anyone who doesn't know, Zazzy is a Dutch warm blood, I believe. She is 23 years young this year, and I have been eventing her for about six or seven years now. She had a foal late in life and then I've been eventing her since then. So we are all platted and ready to go. There's a bit of a rush this morning. I feel like because it's the first event back, I'm a bit out of practice. Um, and yeah, it took a lot longer to get everything ready. I haven't had actually, I haven't actually had time to plat her tail yet. So I might try and do that when we get there. I don't know why I walked around the other side to show you her plats because they're this side. We are heading off to Swolecliff, Swaycliff. Not sure how you're actually meant to say it for the horse events and we are doing the 100 centimeter class and we're just gonna go and have fun because Zazie is an older girl now um, so just keeping her out and about doing things so she doesn't get bored and she's still living life but no pressure she doesn't want me stroking her she hates people stroking her so yes no pressure day just going to have fun it is a hectic weekend because I'm actually back there tomorrow with Hugo so it will be a double vlog weekend and yeah, starting the weekend off on a high with this girl. So yeah, Laurie's ready to go, about to load her in and get on our way. Right, we have just arrived. I haven't parked very well at all, to be honest. There was no one to show me where to go. And we're a little bit close to the car next door, but hopefully you'll tie up okay. We need to um, get these studs in, hey Zazzy? Well, we're here in dressage warm-up. My uh, support crew haven't arrived, so that was the most stressful getting ready ever. But she's very happy to be back out at an event. Okay, first dressage test of 2024. Here we go. Um, not much has changed, actually, surprisingly enough. As you will have heard me mention at the beginning, Zazie is 23, so she's not really going to change in her ways. And for those of you who don't know, although Pizzazz is actually bred for dressage, dressage is her fav favourite least favorite phase she hates it she's extremely lazy she's extremely stubborn she's extremely wooden in the mouth and very difficult to ride and i struggle a lot in this phase so our center line was probably one of the best marks we got a seven and then here we're doing some half 10 meter loops i was relatively pleased with how soft she was staying uh in through her neck and jaw because normally she just locks her jaw and there's nothing you can do but as you can see with Zazzy you can't have two things you can't have impulsion and uh, suppleness you can have one or the other so even though she was soft and bending okay she was extremely lazy um, the test was quite complicated for an 100 uh, we cantered early there we were meant to be at sea but I think I was just trying to be prepared because I thought she'd be late yeah, it wasn't really any kind of normal shapes, if that makes sense. So 15 metre circle for the canters and all the trot work was kind of half 10 metre loops um, back on yourself. So as you can see, it's just laboured and that's what most of the comments have said. You can see me trying my best to keep the canter and here we had to do a short diagonal, which when you're on something so lazy, it's so hard to keep the canter <laughs> across there and she's just anticipating that trot it was trot just before you got back to the arena edge and she just knows it's coming uh so yes here into medium walk and you can see she steps short with her right hind because she just tenses up if you put too much pressure on her mouth she just doesn't take even steps and then here we're going into a free walk which starts really nicely I wasn't pressing her at all and she thinks oh we need to trot so this horse who's the laziest horse ever 
decided to jog in her free walk, which got us a five. So that was very disappointing because that's the one time she's allowed to kind of lollop along. And then back into medium walk again, she just fights it. And I believe we trotted at sea. So that was okay, that transition. And then we are going into some more half 10 meter loops. E, X, no, B, X, X, E. And you can just see her neck is a bit too long. She's a bit too low. And it's mainly she's not tracking up. She's not pushing from behind. It's not the cleanest picture. And my legs are working very, very hard. Um, what are we doing here? Oh, this is one of these half 10 meter loops back. She's just so tricky. I think most of our marks in this test were sixes or 6.5s. This is where we also lost a lot of marks. Canter at sea. But you can see there sitting going, come on. And she's like, absolutely no way. So then I had a right old go at her, which you can see she then goes, right, well, I'm going to stick my head up and completely ignore you now. So that was a shame. And then coming around here, I was like, oh my gosh, this canter, this circle's way too small. This is not 15 metres, this is like 12 metres. But it was too late, I'd committed. So yeah, we got a five, I think, for that canter transition, which was probably quite generous. And you can just see, she's just fighting the whole time. My reins are too long, but if you shorten your reins too much and kind of stick your elbows like in, the, in your sides and try and keep them still, that kind of pressure in the rain she just tries to halt she just thinks oh you, you're you don't want me to go forwards it's very difficult <laughs> then coming around here we're getting ready to do our last half loop onto the center line to halt and she just again anticipates everything you're meant to halt at uh, D I believe it is but she'll always try and halt early and you just kind of go with it unfortunately it wasn't entirely square either which was a shame because normally you can rely on her doing a nice square halt well, that is dressage done. That was a stress and a half. I got into warm up with not really enough time. I'm still cooling off now, as you can see. She is pretty hard work, this horse. We've quickly popped her back in because the weather is not great. Um, it's been very lazy, especially that second canter transition. She decided she didn't want to canter anymore, so that was great. But we're off to walk cross country now and have a look at show jumping. So, yes, the worst bit's out the way, hey, Zazzy? And, uh, Hopefully, onto the fun parts where she's going to have a little bit more energy. Oh, Zazzy! That's nice! Good girl! Good girl, Zazie. Yes, 
Ooh. The back legs just clipped in. Come on, the boy. In portion, in portion. Yes. Yes. Look, Bali. Ooh, little skid. Good girl. Good girl. Well done. Still with plenty of running. Coming to the last, which was the treehouse finale. Nicely over that. As far as we know, that was clear for country. She is flying. is leaving just heard a stop at 13 the design kennel after the water but now over 14 the horse events trocada whereas millie marvis is over the oxa oh she's gone again oh she's back Yeah, she did. Yeah. It's from cross country. Here we are. She absolutely flew around and we were way up on our time. So we had to actually take it quite steady. Sorry, I'm just Hello. Gonna get out of the frame take it quite steady so we actually didn't get time faults, which rare. is quite rare. So absolutely thrilled with how we finished the day. And I think our dressage was 36. So considering that canter transition, I think it could have been worse for the average. Um, one pole, because I was getting one pole. Yeah, it always happens yep. midway. Oh, last. She's very consistent, isn't she? <laughs> yeah, average dressage, always... one pole, oh, and then clear, clear cross country. country. But that was an average. It was. Time. Yeah, she absolutely loved it. So, uh, yeah, so nice to be back out with her. So, that was <coughs> the end of Zazie's day yesterday at Swaycliff. Pretty good day. Um, we actually finished. 11th in our section overall so not too bad because we did have the worst dressage score of the section which to be honest I'm not surprised it was pretty uh, typical pizzazz um, but yeah like I said yesterday just so pleased with how she felt in the two jumping phases because that's kind of the telltale sign of if she's aging she's going to show it when she's jumping because she's always been lazy in dressage but she just felt insane so good and yeah it wasn't an easy cross country 
but she just felt amazing. Um, unfortunately, this is not going to be a double event vlog because it has rained all night and although they're still running today, Mr Hugo was not due to run, well he wasn't due to dressage till 3pm and not due to go cross country till 5 and I just, yeah, made the decision, uh, such a tough one, come on you, that seven hours of eventing today of people going around that show jumping and cross country course with the rain that we had overnight it's it's going to be muddy like i was there yesterday so i i can kind of tell i know what it was like yesterday and as he's still green i don't want there to be any reason for him to feel uh unsure or not confident and i don't think the ground would have really helped us out so that is the event, the end of my Swole Cliff uh, vlogs because Mr. Hugo's gonna come on, have to wait a couple more weeks before he gets out, but hopefully it's the right decision and he'll come out really confident at the next one. So yeah, sorry you're not gonna see Huey in action this weekend, but I'm sure there'll be lots of other events. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed seeing Pizzazz ping round yesterday.